when you put reflection plane on a glass material, it does not reflect another glass in its reflection, but goes through that glass and reflects the model behind it. I don't know. Um, so I'm imagining that this surface would be really reflective. And we'll do standard and do max power on that. And it's gloss and reflectivity. And then these guys, I guess, need to be glass like that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this right. And I'm going to make this our lumen grass. All right. And then if, if I go in here and set up a photo of this, take a snapshot, add an effect of reflection, um, do speed ray, add a reflection plane, do one there, one there, and one there. And like, let's do this one too. Maybe this is what you're getting at is like adding these reflection planes, but I'm just curious to see what it does here. Say okay, like that. So I've set up uh, something going on here and I'm not sure what that is, but um, let me turn the sun kind of dark. So anyway, it's like, Maybe this is what you're getting at. The glass isn't being reflected. Like I'm looking at it, it should be reflecting, but it's not. And when I go over here, hmm, maybe that's what you're talking about. Um, my guess is that that is just simply, uh, let's try pure glass, actually. My guess that just is a way that Lumion is conserving resources um, and, and like not, uh, let's do some relief in this. You know, so that way it's not gonna be uh, like in infinite reflections. So like, yeah, it's not there. So anyway I guess you're right I, I don't know that I would call that a bug though because I, I know that they limit the amount of reflection planes because they don't want you to like add a hundred because it's just gonna bog things down um, and that's that's my guess there is that like the reason they're not showing that glass is because it's uh, um, bogs things down 